Hello, I'm Robin Belazarian, and I am here with a friend whose name is also Robin. And we're going to talk about pain release today using the emotional freedom technique, also called tapping. Uh, I do want to put cautions all over the place. If you are working with someone, please make sure that they have medical clearance, that they should be working on pain management. And what I mean by that is pain has a purpose and pain slows you down. It directs attention to where the uh, injury is and it makes you address it because it hurts you. Um, if you are if you know what your pain is, you've had medical treatment, perhaps you're already in pain management, you're doing some epidurals and things like that, um, certainly you can proceed. But if you don't know what it is, please see your doctor first. And if we are successful in relieving your pain today, please in bold print, please be cautious to build up slowly so that you don't harm yourself again. I've had a few people um, that had very limited walking almost run out of a workshop and that's just not okay. Okay. It's just not okay. You have to build up slowly because those muscles have been impaired. Okay, so actually this is an informational video and by continuing to watch it, you're assuming all risk. If anything overwhelms you, please contact a physician, uh, a therapist, emergency room, or call 911. So take care of yourself and don't get too, um, too, too dramatic that you can pick this up yourself. Okay, um, you may need some help. Um, so I want to show you today that we're going to go beyond talk. Uh, we are still going to include talk, but we're going to throw some um, uh, meridians in that. And over here, I hope it's not covered. We'll see. Uh, I want to show you a meridian chart because honestly, what we're doing today is we're doing a sister of acupuncture. This is acupressure. I prefer it because it's self-applied. You don't need an appointment. You're using your own two fingers. And if you... Um, need to have, if your pain comes up for you at two in the morning, you'll never get an appointment with an acupuncturist, but you've got your own two fingers and you'll be great. Um, these are all the points we're going to use. And I'm not gonna stay in this video very long, um, but I'm gonna go through it just once, okay? The side of the hand, top of head, inner eye, uh, brow, brow, outer eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the lip, collarbone. This is under the arm, about four inches below the armpit, over here to this gamut spot and heart hold. And I'm leaving this video, I'm, I've got this slide in case you wanna go back and look at these things. So I'm gonna get out of share and I'm gonna be working here today. You've actually got two Robins, which is kind of funny. And um, Robin does not know this technique. Um, she is someone that I just know from the community. Occasionally we see each other in the park and we walk together, um, but we really don't know each other that well either. And um, she, and so I asked Robin if she knew anyone who had pain and she said she did. And so it was like, okay, all right. So what I'm gonna do first is find out where her pain is and also how it happened. And so Robin, can you tell us um, zero to 10, what your pain is right this second? Uh, it's about a seven. It's about a seven, okay. And where is it, Robin? It's on my left femur on the front of my, of my thigh, about four inches down from my hip. Okay, and how did, how did it happen? Um, it started in the beginning of May when I was walking and, and I was walking really fast. And then uh, at the end of May, I fell and landed on my left hip. Okay, okay. So um, th this being the end of November, we're talking about pain that's about six months old. And yes. you have seen doctors. Yes. And you've I, had medical treatment. Yes, I went to a rheumatologist. And she said it was a it was not arthritis, which I was concerned about because that's in my family. Uh, she said it was bursitis. And if it bothered me, she could give me a, an injection of cortisone. And I wasn't real excited about that. So I asked my oncologist who knows me better. And he said it was a tubular bursitis. And yes, I should have the shot as soon as I I could get it because otherwise it would keep building. Okay, and you got some relief with that? I did get relief with the, the, with the hip. Okay, fabulous, okay. Um, 
So Robin, I'm just going to ask you on on here. Um, you're agreeing that I can use this video um, on YouTube and for public viewing um, for people who want to understand another alternative way to use pain. Is that right? Absolutely, yes. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways to work with pain and I'm gonna work with pain pretty traditionally the way most people in the emotional freedom technique do. And we're going to um, go through the acupoints and we're also going to put some wording to it. Okay, so Robin, follow me if you will. And this looks like a karate chop. And we are gonna say, even though I, you're gonna echo me, Robin, even though I have pain in my femur, even though I have pain in my femur. And it hurts on a level of a seven. And it hurts on a level of a seven. And I've had it for six months. And I've had it for six months. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. And I accept this is how I feel right now. And I accept that this is how I feel right now. So even though I have pain in my femur. Even though I have pain in my femur. And I've had it for six months. And had it for six months. And I have had medical treatment. And I have had medical treatment. Uh, I accept this is how I feel right now. I accept this is how I feel right now. And I'm a good person. And I'm a good person. So even though I, we're doing this three times, okay? Even oh. though I have pain in my, um, in my femur. Even though I have pain in my femur. And I've had it for six months. And I've had it for six months. Uh, I accept this is how I feel right now. I accept this is how I feel right now. And I'm a good person. And I'm a good person. Okay, so come on up to the top of your head. This pain in my um, leg. This pain in my leg. Um, hurts me. Hurts me. And I've had it for six months. And I've had it for six months. And how, how did it start? Uh, I walked too fast. <laughs> and you walked too and fast? Then I, and then I fell. And you fell. And I fell. And I fell. And I fell. And I fell. And that was awful. And that was awful. And I certainly felt the pain that day. And I certainly felt the pain that day. That pain was awful. That pain was awful. I remember it. I remember it. I remember how awful it was to fall. I remember how awful it was to fall. It was awful to fall. It was awful to fall. Uh, and I, and I, oh, by the way, it's customary to go through these sequences three times and then we'll check oh, in I with thought. you. Yeah. Um, I fell that day. I fell that day. And I remember it. And I remember it. It was awful. It was awful. It was really terrible. It was really terrible. And I remember how bad I felt. And I remember how bad I felt. And I may have even felt worse the next day. And I may have even felt worse the next day. Because that's what pain tends to do. Because that's what pain tends to do. It gets worse as we go. It gets worse as we go. So this pain in my... Um, left leg. So this pain in my left leg. And I had it in my left hip too. And I had it in my left hip too. But the hip is better. But the hip is better. I had an epidural. I had an epidural. And that's okay. And that's okay. But I still have remaining pain in my left leg. But I still have remaining pain in my left leg. It still hurts me. It still hurts me. It still hurts me a lot. It still hurts me a lot. And I remember that day I fell. And I remember that day I fell. I remember that day I fell. I remember that day I fell. And it was terrible. And it was terrible. It was terrible. It was terrible. And I fell that day. And I fell that day. Um, Robin, turn into that pain in your leg. Yes. And go there for five seconds. And zero to 10. What's the pain in your leg right this second? Three. Four. Really? Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I know it's amazing, right? So when we do this on emotional issues, which is primarily where 